What is good, y'all? And welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. You dig what I'm saying? It's your boy, J.I. And as you guys see by the title and the thumbnail, we got a really interesting video for you guys. As you guys know, I am sponsored by a company named Sequence. And they make a sequence third brake light for literally almost any car now. You know what I'm saying? In the car scene. So your Mopar boys, your Chevy boys, and your Ford boys, you can definitely get the dancing third brake light now if you haven't seen the unboxing or the installation video both of those videos will be linked in the description and also at tagged at the end of this video and i probably even put cards up right there so if you haven't already make sure you go tap in with those joints now mamba is a little dirty but we're gonna go ahead and get straight into this video so let me show you guys what you're gonna need and then we can get it done all right, y'all, so popping open the whip, you know what I'm saying? Don't worry about that towel. I'm trying to keep Mamba clean, as you guys can see. It definitely rained and messed your boy all the way up. The wheels was looking so good. The paint was looking so good. But now, you know what I'm saying, we looking a little dirty. But it's okay, though. I'm going to wash it again because my boy Back to the Money is actually hosting a car meet tonight. And uh, you guys stay tuned for that video, you know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and pour this stuff out. Onto the marble floor, you know, in the trunk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What? Okay. I mean, y'all don't need to see that. Okay, cool. So, basically, got some extra wire right here. And we got a little toggle switch. A little on off toggle switch. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy, nothing flashy. Simple, very simple. However, what's flashy is this third brake light. You feel me? So, without further ado, what we're going to do is go ahead, pop this joint off. Again, that should not come off that easily. I don't know why it does for me, but it does. <laughs> and then, honestly, you can just pop these little joints out. Pop that joint out too. And this should peel back like, you know, a scalp. Now, again, you know what I'm saying? When I installed the third brake light with my boy Versatile Speed, I went ahead and zip tied this line to the line that the trunk already has for the uh, trunk opener, I guess, the trunk latch. You know what I'm saying? I zip-tied it over there so that it'll be out the way, but I'll still be able to just, you know, easily get to it. Won't have to take everything apart. So, with that being said, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to take this wire right here, grab some wire cutters, expose the inner wire, you know what I'm saying? Once you expose the inner wire, you're going to take the new wire that you got, you know what I'm saying? And you're going to go ahead and connect it to this wire, then you're connected to your switch, right? And there's a couple things you can do to get the power. One, you know what I'm saying? You can run it directly to the battery. Or two, there is a, you know what I'm saying, a safety kind of feature for the Chevys. You know what I'm saying? They put the positive and negative terminals um, underneath the hood, even though the battery is in the trunk. So you can either A, you know what I'm saying, run the wire all the way to your switch on the inside, then run it to the front of the hood. Um, you know what I'm saying? Underneath the hood, got my boy versatile speed in the mix. You know what I'm saying? I think that means we're gonna go ahead and do the goddamn, the goddamn suit your rules that we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Got my boy versatile speed behind the camera. If you haven't already, make sure you check him out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna get into it just because I'm gonna get all excited. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill. But. <laughs> Hefty pockets. Yeah, yeah. I got money, boy. Damn. Big food, goddamn. Ah, shit. Chill out, Jake. I'm gonna get too hyped. All right, so, like I said, man, we're gonna go ahead and use this wire to extend this joint. And then I'm gonna run the wire. Just following this one right here, you know what I'm saying? I'll probably end up zip tying it to it. And then we're gonna probably just go straight to my battery. Since my battery is right here, you know what I'm saying? We'll just go straight to the battery with it. And then I'll probably even leave the switch in the trunk just because this is just the show mode and I'm going to be using that whenever I go to car meets. I already popped the trunk when I go to car meets anyway. So, boom, I'll pop the trunk and the switch is right there. If I'll, you know, flick it up and then show mode. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get started. I got to go see my boy Paul real quick, get some wire cutters, and I will be right back just like that. Okay, and we back. You did what I'm saying. Got the wire cutter right here. So, you know what I'm saying? If you got one of these fancy smancy joints, all you gotta do is set the appropriate length. Don't fall on camera, brother. This ain't work. I ain't gonna give you workers compensation. So boom. Just like that. And you take the excess, you know, covering, and you just pull it 
pull that joint straight off like that. Boom. Okay. So now we're gonna do the same thing over here. I honestly have no idea how much wire we're gonna end up using. If we use all of this, I could care less. You know what I'm saying? But if we don't, it's always good to have extra. God damn it. J.I., go ahead and cue the goddamn. Many unbearable hours. Many unbearable hours later. Now, uh, I ain't gonna say this, you know what I'm saying? This is the smallest wire that uh, them boys at AutoZone had, you know what I'm saying? So y'all don't judge me. Also, yes, I'm using electrical tape right now, which you can use, you know what I'm saying? But it's only because I'm waiting for my boy to get back with the butt connectors. So, until he comes back, we gonna do this, just so I can make sure that the joint turns on, you know what I'm saying? Take your light switch, you know? I gotta take the floor out now, so I'll give it one second. I'm into right now, you know what I'm saying? I know I've been quiet. So basically, this wire is too small for this butt connector, you know what I'm saying? So that hard doesn't want to work. But J.I. J.I. doesn't quit, you know? You never give up, all right? If there's one thing you learn from me, just don't ever quit, okay? Don't ever give up, don't ever let somebody tell you that you can't do something or or that you you can't you can't be what you want to be when you grow up or that this is not gonna work you know why because you just make it work when there's a problem you fucking solve it okay remember that jay i touch you got no cap tell your mom and dad about that now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab another zip tie and i'm gonna make that secure first oh not first but i'm gonna make that secure in a little bit but what we're about to do first is make sure that it works still so, I believe the car is still in accessory mode, so that joint should just start dancing. Is it dancing, my brother? Yes, it is. Perfect. Drop it in the, uh, the wire connector for it. Make sure that it's in there secure. And grab this joint and lock it in place. All right, y'all, so quick update, you dig what I'm saying? Got the power wire ran, and we got the, basically, I guess we could say signal wire ran for the light. We've already tested the switch. It works, super stoked about that. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the floor back in so we can get the positioning of the switch, and then I'll show you guys the finished product. You dig? Sheesh. Show mode going crazy, boy. Yes, sir. Big video game. All right, y'all, so I'm finna go ahead. We just finished, you know what I'm saying? Temporary, we have a tree drill um, at Versatile's crib that we're gonna actually be using to drill into the plastic. That way the switch can look more OEM than what it is right now, but that's off. As you guys can see, that brake light is off. That's on. As you guys can see, it cuts on. So man, huge shout out to Sequence. All right, y'all, you did what I'm saying? So. With that being said, oh damn, this is gonna be bad. But yeah, man, you did what I'm saying. That's actually gonna do it for today's video. Do shout out to my boy Versatile Speed behind the camera work and also, you know, fucking up the goddamn connector. But hey, we ain't talking about that right now. <laughs> no comment. He ain't got no comment. <laughs> I was amazed by the neck tape. Like, like he ain't got. It, it brought back memories, didn't it? It brought back. Put the brain. Oh God. Hey, it's okay though. That hell gonna come back stupid. But like I was saying, y'all, that's gonna do it for this video again. Huge shout out to Sweet Sequence. Link is in the description. Also, the Instagram pops up right here. Make sure you guys go tap in if you want to see the unboxing, the install, or watch this video again for the show mode install. You dig what I'm saying? Definitely out of 10, you know what I'm saying? This was dead ass 10 being the easiest install it was super easy not hard at all all you got to do is go get extra wire and a switch and have your battery you know what i'm saying that's pretty much it as you guys saw and then you know wire it up and set up the switch as clean as possible but with that being said like i said that's gonna be it for this video if you guys are new to the channel make sure you smash that subscribe button make sure you turn on those post notifications drop a comment in the comment section down below let me know what you think about the third brake light and i will see you guys in the next one peace uh, as y'all can see, we got Mambo going right now. Sheesh. You know what I'm saying?
know it's a light show, boy. Stop capping with me, man. That joint looks insane, bro.